Welcome back to Textiles and Treasures and happy holidays. Now that it's officially the Christmas season, I am so excited to start decorating with all of my vintage holiday decor. Over the past few months, I've been picking up vintage Christmas here and there at yard sales, estate sales, the flea market, thrift stores, rummage sales, and even my local swab shed. I'm so excited to share what I found in a very merry vintage Christmas haul. This collaboration is being hosted by Nicole at Nesting Haven. In the description, you'll find a link to the playlist where you can check check out all the vintage treasures other people have been picking up too. We'll start off with the vintage Christmas decor like figurines, ornaments, ceramics, and candle holders. Next we'll look at some of the retro handmade treasures and we'll finish up with holiday inspired vintage glassware. Let's get started. One of the things I like best about the Christmas season is all of the candles. That's why I could not resist this pair of snowman candle holders. As you can see, this is an adorable snowman holding a gift and this is a a little candle holder. There's a little bluebird on his hat. As you can see on the bottom, this piece is Napco Wear Japan. And this is a snow woman with a little beautiful bow, a poinsettia in her hat, and a little purse. And I just thought this pair was absolutely adorable. How cute are they together? They're just so colorful and festive. I found this pair of snowman votive holders at the flea market, and I got it as part of a group price at a box lot. So I probably paid less than a dollar for the pair. If this adorable Santa and Mrs. Claus candle holder is vintage, that means I am too. As you can see, Santa and Mrs. Claus are leaning in for a kiss, and if you look closely at the bottom here, it says Christmas is happiness 1981. That was the year I was born, so this definitely came home with me because it's a reminder of my birth year. This is just so adorable. It still has a candle inside it, and I found this at the bins. On the bottom, you can see that this piece is by Jasco Taiwan, and it's dated 1980. At my local Goodwill outlet, glassware is 20 cents a pound, so this is probably a pound or two, so it was under 50 cents. On that same visit, I found this Holly Hobby Happy Holidays votive holder. I thought this was really cute. I know that a lot of people do collect Holly Hobby, although that's not something I'm particularly into, and I just could not leave this behind. On the back, you can see that it has a sticker that it was made in Japan, and there's actually some remnants of the tag still on the bottom. Since I got this can holder in the bins, I paid less than 20 cents for it. I also found this tea light holder. As you can see, this is a festively decorated Christmas house. We've got trees all around the edges of the house, some candy canes, and it's got snow on top. Really cute. I thought this was absolutely adorable. It's perfect for putting one of those little tea lights inside. And on the bottom, you can see it says home for the holidays, Jasco Taiwan. I paid $2 for this ceramic house at the thrift store. I found this adorable candle holder at the swap shed, which means I got it for free. I just thought the mouse sleeping next to the pot belly stove was absolutely adorable. And of course, like I said, I love candles for the holidays. This is marked Avon 1983 on the bottom. Avon really did put out some really cute candle holders. It's very interesting how many pieces you can find these days. I was super excited to come across this pair of adorable penguins at Goodwill. As you can see here, this penguin is carrying around a Christmas tree, and this one is holding a wreath. On the bottom, it is marked Flambro Taiwan. I paid a dollar each for this pair of penguins. I was super excited when I spotted this hand-painted ceramic snowman on the shelves at Goodwill. I am always on the lookout for these hand-painted ceramics. I love when they're as well done as this one, and I just thought he was absolutely adorable. I love the vibrant green of the scarf, and I love the way that there's some sparkles on the holly on his hat. I was even more excited to come across this snow woman on another shelf, and I knew that they went together. They both have the same green, they have the same decoration on the holly, and they're definitely an adorable pair. Don't they look perfect together? These little snowmen remind me of the bigger ones that my mom painted in the 80s, and so I was super excited to find them for $2 each. I had really good luck with Christmas figurines at another local thrift store. When I found this owl with his beautiful Santa hat carrying this lantern, I was super excited. I love owls. They're so vintage and so adorable, and I don't see them that often, so this was an excellent find for $0.50. 
cents. As you can see on the bottom, this is marked Treasure Masters Taiwan. At the same time, I found another adorable owl Christmas decoration. He's so cute sitting on top of a gift here, and I just think he's so cute with his little Santa hat as well. He's also marked Treasure Masters Taiwan, and I also paid 50 cents for him. I was also excited to come across this Christmas figurine. As you can see, this is a snowman hanging out with a tree and a little snow-covered house. We've got some holly here. It is incredibly festive. As I mentioned, I really like snowmen to celebrate Christmas, so this was an excellent find. This is also marked Treasure Masters Taiwan. I also paid 50 cents for this figurine. A few weeks later, I found this house with a Santa at Restore, and I was super excited because I realized that it matched my snowman. It's always nice to have things in pairs or trios, so this was a really good find. Super cute with the trees and the house covered in snow. We've got Santa hanging out here. This one has lost its sticker, but it's very clear that these two pieces belong together. They are very, very, very similar in theme. I also found this pretty ceramic cardinal at my local thrift store. I'm not sure if this was supposed to go on something. It kind of looks like it may have rested on top of some sort of jar or something like that, but I just absolutely could not resist getting this beautiful cardinal with this green snow-covered branch with the little pine cones, if that's what they are here. I paid 50 cents for this cardinal. I also found this tiny little hurricane lamp. I got this at a yard sale and it was marked a dollar, but I probably paid a little bit less with all the other things I got. You may have seen this pattern before. I come across this tree pattern on a lot of different pieces of china fairly regularly, but I don't really want to pick it up, but I will pick up this candle because that's something I can actually use. On the bottom, this is marked Noel, the house of Salem. And now you can take a little bit of a closer look at the Christmas tree. I came across these adorable vintage deer at an estate sale. I had never spotted these before and I still haven't seen them since, so I'm so glad that I dug through some boxes and was able to turn these up. I'm gonna display these deer with some vintage bottle brush trees that I have. I just think it will look so cool having these cute little deer with their big eyes hanging out next to some trees. I paid a dollar for the pair of these at the estate sale. At that same estate sale, I found these vintage ornaments. These are handmade ornaments that that are covered in French knots, which is an embroidery stitch. As you can see, they are little lambs or other little creatures, and they've got very festive bows on. Whenever I see handmade ornaments like these, I often want to rescue them because I know how much work went into making these. I'm pretty sure these are vintage because of all the other stuff that was in these boxes, and I just think they're so adorable. I paid a dollar for the pair of these. Speaking of handmade ornaments, I have picked up a bunch of them here and there whenever I see them. This little star ornament has cute teddy bears hanging out with a tree and it says Noel. I know this is vintage because this is signed on the back with 1990. I ended up paying a dollar for this. This was kind of an expensive yard sale. I also found this cute cross stitch Santa ornament at a church yard sale. Whenever I see these I tend to grab them just because I love these little handmade pieces. I like making them myself and I like rescuing them when I spot them. I probably paid less than 50 cents for this. I found this bluebird Christmas inspired ornament mint at the flea market. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. I don't usually see tiny little needlepoint pieces and I love the colors. I love that it's bluebirds. I got this with a bunch of other items and I also paid less than a dollar for it. I rescued these handmade ornaments from the bins. As you can see here, we've got a snowman and this is on plastic canvas and it's designed to puff out a little, give them a little dimension. I also found another one in the same style, so I could not leave these behind in the bins. On the same visit, I also found this little dog that's definitely decked out for Christmas. This definitely is handmade, it seems to be out of felt and he was cute and he had to get rescued. I also found this little vintage flower at the same time. It's red, so I feel like it fits perfectly in with the holiday decor. I also rescued this little Christmas wreath out of the bins. I'm not sure if it was the same visit or another one, but whenever I see these pieces in the bins, I always try to take them home. They're not that heavy and somebody put some work into it and I'd want to rescue them. This was another fun Christmas piece that I rescued out of the bins. Again, I can't be 100% sure that this is vintage, but a lot of these crafts were popular in the 80s and 90s, and so I assume that they are at least that vintage. I like that this has a little ring to it and it's super festive and I'm 
excited to hang it up very soon. On that same visit, I picked up this Anna Lee snowman. I have to admit I didn't know anything about Anna Lee before I started thrifting. This little snowman was just hanging out at the bottom of one of the bins in the Goodwill outlet, and so I had to take it home. I don't particularly love the style of Anna Lee dolls. I've never really been a big fan, but it's a snowman I couldn't resist. I also found this little Hershey's Kiss holder in the bins. The reason I think this is vintage is that this is something that my grandmother used to make probably in the 90s. It is just so cute, and I think it's supposed to be Christmas because it does have this little ornament holder on top, and as you can see, you can stick some Hershey's Kisses or other candies inside. I really think these are quite creative, and they really do make nice gifts. I know I loved watching all of the ones that my grandmother would sell at the craft fairs. I found this hand-painted looking bear puzzle holding a Christmas tree at the flea market. This was in a box lot, and I bought it with a bunch of other things, so I paid less than a dollar for it. I'm fairly certain that this is vintage as well, but it is just really cute. It's something unusual. I think this might be an ornament. I'm not entirely sure, but it's kind of cool, and I'm glad that I picked it up at the flea market. Another thing that I rescued from a box lot at the flea market was this Jolly Jingles Bell. This is definitely a vintage box to me, and I thought it was just super cute. If I'm reading these Roman numerals right, this is from 1986. This is a cute little cat bell. I think it'll look so cute displayed with my other vintage ornaments. Now let's look at some of the hand-painted ceramics that I have been so excited to find. I was on the lookout for hand-painted Halloween ceramics, and I couldn't find any, but I've had some really good luck with Christmas ceramics. The first ceramic piece that I found is this absolutely adorable snowman. As you know, I love snowmen, and so when I found this on the shelves at Goodwill, I was super excited. As you can hopefully see here on the candy cane, there's the ability for the light to poke through here, and then also on the lantern. This was one of those ceramic molds that was super popular in the 70s, 80s, and maybe even the 90s, and I think this is a really well-done version of the snowman. It's kind of fun to check out on eBay the other versions that people have. I paid $6 for this snowman at Goodwill, and it was absolutely worth it. I was super excited to come across this brick house with a snowman and some Christmas trees at a yard sale that was really more of an estate sale. As you can see, this is hand-painted as well. It's one of the molds, and there's Santa here at the top of the chimney, and then there are these little Christmas lights throughout this piece. This is actually pretty well done, and I like that it gives the chance for some color to shine through when it is lit up. At this yard sale, this little house was actually being displayed on this cream-colored base, but I realized once I got it out into the daylight that this is actually the base for a ceramic Christmas tree because it doesn't actually match the coloring of this house. So as you can see here, this has a hole in the back where I can put a light in it. I ended up paying $5 for both of these pieces. I don't have a ceramic Christmas tree that fits this just yet, but it will come in handy someday, and these do have some resale value if I decide I'm not going to keep it. Luckily, I do have a light that I can stick in the back of this and it looks so awesome lit up. Imagine my surprise not so long afterwards when I came across another version of this mold at Goodwill. As you can see, this one is seated atop its base and this one is a little bit different but also well done. It's got some shimmery snow on the top of the roof, the Santa is well painted, and I love the tiny little bulbs that are in this Christmas tree. It's amazing how different people paint these and how they decorate them and even the kinds of lights that they use. As you can see here, the detail is different, but I do like the way that the light shines through this. You can see that it doesn't have anything covering the windows. So the light shines through nice and bright, just like a nice cozy house that would have lights on inside. This is a really nice ceramic base. It uses a standard light bulb. It's absolutely perfect for making sure this Christmas house can get lit up. I actually had a bit of sticker shock when I saw what this was going for at Goodwill. They had this marked $15, but they were having a 25% off sale, 25% off everything on this particular week. Weekend. So I ended up paying $11.25 for this house in the base. I decided it was worth it because they sell for much more online and it is with the correct base so I can switch it out. And I also just really like this particular piece. It's super cool and perfect for decorating for the season. Goodwill has been full of surprises this season and I was super surprised to see this ceramic snowman in the bins. Yes, this was at the Goodwill outlet and somebody had actually plugged it into the charging station and then left it there. I wonder if it was because it's missing so many of its lights, but I've actually found that you can get these lights and I can either buy them on Amazon or I might be able to find them at Michael's. I was super surprised that this actually has no damage except for the fact that it's missing its lights.
needs, and so I absolutely was going to take it home. Glassware at the bins is 20 cents a pound, and this is a couple of pounds, so it was probably something like 50 cents. I was even more surprised to come across a ceramic Christmas tree in the bins. I actually saw somebody else pick this up first, and then I ran over there. This is a cream-colored base, and they did put some glitter on it, and what happened is that the glue or the adhesive that they used for the glitter has started to yellow with age. Since I was at the outlet, I decided to buy it anyway, and one of the reasons was to take all of the different lights that came inside it and perhaps repurpose these or use them for something else. So I've taken most of them out. I've got them in my hand right here. And I just thought this was really cool to find. I did not find the base, but it actually has no damage except for some crazing and the yellowing with age. However, depending on the room I put it in, it may not even be noticeable. So we'll see once I get it all set up for the season. Like I said, this was at the bins and glassware is 20 cents a pound. So this was something like 50 cents. Now let's look at more of the retro handmade treasures that I've picked up to celebrate Christmas. I found this set of four Joy Christmas blocks, and you can see that they are done in cross stitch. And when I saw these, I absolutely had to have them. I think this will look so nice on a shelf with some of the other beautiful figurines and decorations. I found these at a church yard sale and I paid less than a dollar for them. At that same churchyard sale, I found this Christmas cross stitch. As you can see, it says, have a very Merry Christmas, and I just could not resist. I love bears to celebrate Christmas. Again, I know how much work goes into cross stitch, and I was really surprised that this ended up donated, but I was happy to rescue it, and I'm gonna put this out on one of my many thrifted chairs this holiday season. I also found this needlepoint stocking at the flea market. I got this in a box lot with some other treasures, and I definitely paid less than a dollar for it, probably less than a quarter. I thought this this was just so pretty, beautiful colors, and I know how much work goes into needlepoint. As you can see, it's so big, it's really hard to show on the screen, but it says peace at the top. I think it's perfect for hanging and displaying this season. Latch hook is definitely one of those crafts that I think is vintage. And when I saw this beautiful latch hook set of bells, I could not leave it behind. This was already half off at the thrift store, so I paid a dollar for it. As you can see, it is latch hook design, which means that somebody hooked it through a canvas, and it is a set of bells in very festive holiday colors. It's quite large, and I'm going to hang it on the wall, and I just think it's really cool. I know how much work these are, and I do think they're really fun, and this saves me the trouble of making something like this myself. Definitely a nice festive piece. I am always looking out for holiday cross stitch and I find them year round. I found this set of two cross stitch Santas. As you can see, they have a very Father Christmas style and I have learned that these Santas were actually a series that were put out every year starting in the 80s by Prairie Schooler. In my yard sale adventures, I've actually come across a lot of the patterns, but it's nice to pick up the completed pieces whenever I find them. I got these two pieces at a church yard sale and again, I probably paid a dollar or less for each of them. I found this snowman cross stitch at an estate sale and of course I had to pick it up. I love snowmen. He is so cute and I actually love the wooden frame that he's mounted in. I paid about a dollar for this at the estate sale. I found this simple framed candy cane at the thrift store. This was already half off so it was only 50 cents which is a great deal for something that's well framed. This is why it pays to look for Christmas in off season. As you can see it's just a simple candy cane design but I love candy canes and I think it's well done and it was absolutely worth 50 cents. I also found this Santa walking around with a Christmas tree at the thrift store. This piece was at Goodwill and it was only marked a dollar because it actually had some staining on the back. However, that came out with some cleaning and it is absolutely worth getting this beautifully done piece. I love that it looks like it's snowing and you can see that the person who made it signed it in 1993. This is probably my favorite Christmas cross stitch. As you can see, it is a piece that says Noel and I love that it is Santa riding a rocking horse. What's neat about this is it's framed with anti-glare glass so it is perfect for displaying it won't reflect too much light and it's just a really well done piece you can see that the artist signed this piece on the back Christmas 1990 I love this piece I found these adorable snowmen at the swap shed the swap shed is where I can pick up things for free it's at the local recycling center and they just barely make the cut for vintage this one is signed Santa 1999. These were made by an artist named Janice Campbell and they're just absolutely beautiful snowmen. I think this one is so cute. It's got that nice primitive vibe without being too dated, at least in my opinion. I love the flannel. I love everything about this. I also found this Mrs. Claus snowman and this, as you can see, it says the snow cabin collection. 
Once again, it is signed 1999. Somebody was definitely downsizing and I was happy to pick this up. Here's another snowman and this one says Pa Harbor. I just think this is so cute and this one is also from 1999. So it makes the cut for vintage. This was the most sizable handmade piece that I picked up. As you can see, it is a gingerbread house that's made in plastic canvas. I assume this is probably from the 90s because that was when the, that style of art was really popular, but who knows? I actually found this in the bins and I had to rescue it. This is so cool and I absolutely had to save it from the bins. It didn't have any damage from being in the bins. I probably grabbed it quick enough and it's just a really well done piece. Look at the snow coming out the top. I think it'll be fun to see if I can find any more houses to add to this collection. I've also picked up some vintage Christmas tree decorations and other Christmas light items. One thing I picked up is this tinsel for a mini tree. I definitely know this is old because Ames was a discount store that hasn't existed for many, many years. This is made by Bright Star Manufacturing Company, made in USA. This is tiny little garland. This looks like it's never been taken off the cardboard, so I'm looking forward to using it. I also found this set of Christmas lights. These are definitely vintage looking, probably from the 80s, and I can tell that because we used to have these in my tree when I was growing up. As you can see, these lights have these little stars on them, and I think they'll be really cool to decorate with. I love bringing back these kind of memories of the way the old lights used to be. I got this at the flea market in a box lot, so I definitely paid less than a dollar for it. I also found this box of current tree lights. Current was a mail order company that my mom used to order from in, I think, the 80s and the 90s. These are Christmas tree light covers, so this will be perfect for adding a little extra sparkle to my trees. I paid a dollar for a set of 35 of these. I found this miniature tea set at Goodwill, and as you can see, it is a snowman tea set. This is a snowman teapot, and these are the tiny little cups. It came with two sets of these cups and saucers. I think these will be so cute on a shelf, and I couldn't resist because the set was only a dollar. Last but not least, let's look at some of the vintage glassware that I picked up to decorate for the season. When I saw this red crackle glass, I absolutely had to have it. I don't often pick up red crackle glass because red is not my favorite color, but I knew that this would be perfect for decorating for Christmas. As you can see, it's a deep ruby red base and then it has a yellow applied handle. I started collecting crackle glass because it reminds me of my grandmother and I found this piece for a dollar at the flea market. I think it will look really nice with this green crackle glass. This is a little pitcher that I found at Goodwill and I paid two dollars for. I have a few other green crackle glass pitchers, but I liked this one because it has a nice rich forest green color. As you can see, these are going to look quite nice together and I'll probably put out some of my other green glassware. When you're talking about green glassware, you could not forget about Anchor Hawking. Anchor Hawking made this beautiful forest green glassware and they made it in a lot of different patterns. This pattern that you see here is the purple pattern and I've picked up these bowls over the course of the year. I actually now have six of these bowls. I picked up two at a flea market, two at an estate sale, and two at a churchyard sale. As you can see, I now have a stack of six of these purple forest green berry bowls. These are absolutely a perfect size and shape for anything you want to eat around the holidays. I was super excited to find the master berry bowl or the large berry bowl in the purple pattern. I have one of these in clear, but it's somewhat harder to find the ones that are in forest screen. I found this at Savers and it was marked $3.99, but I did have a coupon. So I think I got $2 off a $5 purchase or something like that. This is perfect to go with the rest of the bowls. I also found this forest green hobnail style bowl. I believe this is also anchor hawking just by the color of the glass and the fact that they did kind of have these patterns. I found this at the flea market in a box lot and I probably paid about a dollar for it. With all of that green glassware, I absolutely need some red. I was so excited to come across these two ruby red pieces. This is the bubble pattern by Anchor Hawking and just as they made forest green, they also made ruby red, but I don't see it very often at all. So when I saw these at Savers, I was super excited. This plate was marked $1.49 and as you can see, it is in great condition. This looks like it would have been the saucer for a cup, but I did not find that. And then I have this tiny little bubble pattern bowl. Since I already mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of the color red. I think this is 
is just enough. I'll probably keep an eye out for others, but I think they'll look nice displayed together. This would be perfect for serving something on the side. Super excited I found these. Of course, I can't forget to talk about Pyrex for the holidays. I have not been so lucky to come across any of the Christmas patterns just yet, but I'm going to keep an eye out in the future. However, I did create a little Christmas colored set out of the pieces I do have. As you can see here, I have an unmarked opal Pyrex bowl. You can absolutely recognize that this is Pyrex from the shape, and the true opal ones are not usually marked on the bottom. I found this white opal bowl for 25 cents at a yard sale. I was on the lookout for this red 402 bowl to complete my primary color set. You can see it's not in the best condition, but this was the shiniest one that I found at a yard sale. I think I paid something like two or three dollars for it, so I'm going to keep an eye out for a more shiny 402, but this is fine for now it completes the set and like I said red isn't my favorite color anyway so it's really just to have it as part of the set. I found this green 402 bowl at a yard sale for $1. And this was the first one I found in my primary color set. As you can see, these bowls go quite well together. And I think they'll look nice as part of a stack on my Pyrex display. I do have a few pieces of snowflake Pyrex that I'm going to bring out either for Christmas or for the winter. There you have all of my vintage Christmas finds that I am so excited to start displaying this season. I can't wait to get started decorating and it was really fun to look at all these pieces together. Be be sure to check out the playlist I've included in the description so that you can watch other very merry vintage Christmas hauls. To see more of the Christmas decor that I picked up earlier this year, check out my Thrift Miss in July video. You can find a link in the description. Leave a comment and let me know which item was your favorite. I think my favorite finds were all of the different ceramic pieces. I really wanted to find them and I got some really nicely done pieces. Thanks again for stopping by my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Happy holidays. Have a good one. Goodbye.